see how to create hardware configuration in your PLC project which you create in TIA portal ok so first we check what kind of PLC rack we want to create for our PLC project so we go to the ePlan electric scam and here we have some PLC rack which we need to do which we need to create in the TIA portal <coughs> how you can see we have here some CPU this CPU is 1214 then we have here some input output digital cards then we have here some uh, analog input card and at least analog output card so now we go back to the TIA portal and to add new device this means the PLC into your project you click on the add new device option in your PLC project 3 so first you insert the device name of your CPU for example we use PLC next you click on the controller button and choose CPU which you use ok we use CPU 1214 <coughs> and we go back to the ePlan and check what kind of this CPU we use so we use this one ok then you choose the version of firmware which you use in this CPU I still use the newest firmware OK and then click on the OK button now here you can see your PLC rack <coughs> which CPU would you add to your PLC project here is a network view where you can also insert another devices which you use in your PLC project ok so we go back to the PLC rack go back to the ePlan and check what kind of cards we want to insert to the PLC rack so as first we use we sorry as first we insert the digital input output card so for this you can use the number of this card I copy it go back to the device view click on the hardware catalog and here you can use find function to find your device which you want to insert to your device view or network view ok we insert this number of this card click on the find button search down and here we find the, our card which we have in the ePlan you just click on it and drag and drop to the PLC rack ok now we insert the digital input output card to the PLC rack now we go back to the ePlan and now we insert another card again copy the number go back to the TIA portal and again search in the catalog in the hardware catalog and here is it again drag and drop to the PLC rack and at least we insert the analog output card by same way like before and drag and drop to the PLC rack if you don't have an ePlan and you can't uh, copy the number of this card just you want to search for the for this card or device in the hardware catalog for example you have in the rack digital input card which have 16 digital inputs and when you know the number of the card you just click on it and drag and drop ok so now 
now we have the PLC rack of our PLC project and now you can click on the PLC respectively CPU in your PLC rack, rack and here we are in the properties so as first is necessary to define the Ethernet address of your CPU for example we use different PLC IP address for example like this ok insert the subnet mask and also if you use the router you need to insert uh, the IP address of the router address ok so then you can set the address of the digital inputs and outputs directly on the PLC and also if the PLC has some analog inputs, outputs also you can set the address of these analog inputs, outputs so you go in the general property of the PLC to the digital input output option click on it and here you can see all your channels of your digital outputs and inputs so for example we go to the digital inputs how we can see our CPU have integrated 14 digital inputs and also 10 digital outputs so we click on the digital inputs and here you can see all the inputs and outputs no he, sorry here you can see for example channel 0 channel 1 channel 2 all the digital inputs so when we want to change these addresses we close the properties and here you can click on this row in the device data you first click on the PLC in your PLC rack and click on the device data and here you can see all input and output addresses of your PLC rack so for example we want to have range of the digital inputs of our PLC which start from the address number 10 how you can see automatically TIA portal make all digital input addresses when you input the start address of this digital inputs same we make for the digital outputs for example also starts from the number number 10 and here you can also change the addresses of your digital input output card and for the analog input and analog output card so for example for digital inputs in the digital input output card we choose start address for example 12 and save for, for the outputs of this card and for example we say this address for the digital for sorry for the analog output and analog input card is okay so this is how you can set the address of your inputs and outputs in your PLC rack okay then you can set what type of analog inputs you use for your analog input card for example here you can see we have four analog inputs and for example for the channel number zero we use measurement type voltage and for example voltage range plus my voltage range plus minus 10 volts and for the channel number two 
we want to use for example measurement type current with with current range for example from 4 to 20 milliamperes and for the channel 3 is necessary for our project for example use the current range from 0 to 20 milliamperes this means for example when we have wiring wired on the channel number 2 the sensor which use the analog input the analog signal with the current range from 4 milliamperes to 20 milliamperes then we can set it here in the channel properties of the analog input card okay and at least we can define what kind of analog outputs we use in our PLC project by using the analog output card which is in our PLC rack for example on the channel number number 0 we use analog output type voltage and this card can only work with this voltage range and for example on the channel number 1 we use current analog output type and for example we control some action device which use the current range from 4 milliamperes to 20 milliamperes okay this is what you can do with your PLC rack for example this is only basic example and then maybe you use in your PLC project the HMI device which you can <coughs> add to your hardware configuration of your PLC project by again clicking on the add new device button or find it in the hardware configuration of your PLC project sorry find in your hardware catalog of of the TIA portal for example we use TP700 Comfort HMI so you can just drag and drop to your network view and same like on the CPU you go to the properties of this HMI and set the IP address of this device ok for example IP address like this save the project and now we want to create connection between the PLC CPU and the HMI device you just click on the connection button in your device and networks window click on the Ethernet port of the CPU and drag it to the Ethernet port of the HMI and now you have connection between your two devices in your TIA portal project if this connection in HMI is created properly you just go to the connection button connection option in your HMI three click on it and here you can see the connection between your HMI device and the PLC CPU so this is all for this basic example about how to create your device configuration in your PLC project which you create in the TIA portal software and also how to create basic connection between two devices for example like HMI and the CPU okay thank you for watching this video and goodbye